What's up guys, this is PhysHD of Lag Tutorials, and I'm going to be showing you how to make a Minecraft server. Um, all you need is LogMe and Hamachi, the server software, and Minecraft. You need to be a premium member. Um, well, you don't have to be, but with my experience, I've always been a premium member, so I wouldn't know how to do it if you're a cracked member, but there is a way to host servers that cracked members can join. And I'll show you how to do that as well at the end. Alright, so what you're going to do is open up your browser and paste the link in the description. Or just go to the link in the description, whatever. If you don't have the game, you can download it from there. And if you are looking for the server software, it's right down here on the bottom of the page. It'll be a binary file. You'll save it. And there it is. As you can see, I've already downloaded it. But you're going to throw it onto your desktop and you're gonna run it just click run and it'll do all this shit and all these will come up you could X this out right now you're just gonna go to new folder on your desktop and we're just gonna name it tut you're gonna throw all this stuff in Alright, so, once you have all that in, uh, forget that for now, we'll put that over there. You're gonna go to, uh, Google. Alright, google.com. Now you're gonna type in, Hamachi Download. And it's gonna be the first one. You'll get this, you're gonna do free download. And it'll give you this. You're just going to save it, follow the installation process, and just save the icon to your desktop. And you'll get this. And then when you open up Hamachi, <clears throat> you'll get this. And it won't look like this, though, because you'll need to make an account. So just make your account. And now you have Hamachi and the server software and Minecraft. You're just gonna <clears throat> open up Logme and Hamashi, which we already have open. You're gonna go to network, create a new network, and make the network ID very easy, like something that nobody's used though, because then somebody could be joining the wrong network or something. But I don't believe you can actually make the name something that somebody's already used, so scratch what I just said. Make it something, make it just like his HD, for example, and make the password 123. Um, it doesn't have to be that. You could do anything just easy because it's not like you're not letting people join it you want people to join it so then you'll just click create and when you want somebody to join your server uh, Hamachi server you will give them your network ID and your network password they'll join your network and then you'll see them down here and then they're basically in your network as long as this light is green and their lights are green that means that they're online so right now these people are on their computer and you can X that out. And then, actually, you want to keep that open. Alright, so keep that open while you're doing it. I don't know if you have to, but... And then you're going to go to Tut. You're going to open up your server software. And you're going to open up the text document. No, not the text document. Sorry, you'll open up the note. And the icon looks like that. And then this box will come up. And it's really easy to do this. You don't really have to... It's not rocket science. It's just typing in true or false and a few numbers. Alright, so your IP, this is the important one. You're going to open up your Hamachi and just copy that IP. You can't actually copy it for some reason, but you can just look at it and type in while looking at it. So that's what you're going to do. You're going to type 5.175.1. Point two four eight, and that's that. Now PVP, which is player versus player, you can leave that true. Level seed, if you have any level seed, type it in there. Server port, leave the same. Allow flight, you could do whatever you want. Uh, it doesn't really make a difference. Whitelist, you could. I'm gonna show you if you make that true. Now you would have to do a whitelist also, which I'll show you how to do. Allow Nether, true. View distance ten. 
level name, tut, um, online mode. Now this is about the crack. If you put it at true, people who have cracked can't join. If you put it at false, people with cracked can join. And it's not going to change anything if it's on false. It's not going to make it bad for anybody. It's not really... It's just to make people who have cracked join or not. That's really all it is. And then you're just going to go file save once you added all the things that you want. You're going to X that out. And now since we, activ since we activated whitelist, you're just going to open it up. And type in the names of people that are allowed to join. So I'm going to type myself in. I'm going to type my friend's name in just for example. And then you're just going to click file, save. And that's done. So now when you open it up, you can see that that's the whitelist. Um, banned players, this is where all the players that you've banned go. Banned IPs, this is where the players that you've banned IPs go. Um, ops, I'm going to make myself an op. HD. You could also do this in-game by typing slash op. Player name. Okay, so that's that. And that is how you do all the documents and everything. And then you're gonna just run this thing right here Minecraft underscore server. It's an application, and you're just gonna run it. And just uncheck that and then click run. And basically, all it's gonna do is prepare your level. I'm um, I'll skip through this part for you guys. All right, so now as you can see, it just um finished. It got to 97% and then finished. Now it's just going to preparing start region for level 1. So that's the last thing that's going to have to prepare. So don't don't be uh whatever, you know what I'm saying? Just don't flip out when you see that it finishes and then it starts again. It's supposed to do that. Alright, so like I said, I'm just going to skip through this for you guys. Alright guys, we're back. It just finished. And now that that's done, you're just going to minimize it. Don't exit out. And I'm just going to show you that this is a little text bar down here. You type in help. And now it says all the commands that you can use. You can kick, ban, pardon, ban, pardon, op, deop, tp, which is teleport, give somebody an object, not object, uh, item or resource. You could send somebody a message. You could stop the server. You could save all, or you could just save off and turns off terrain saving. You could save on, which re enables re enables terrain saving. List or say a message that broadcasts to everybody, or set the time, which is probably the most used one. Um, besides for teleport. Alright, so you're going to minimize that. You're not going to close it. You're going to minimize Hamachi. You're going to X that out. You don't need it. And then you're going to open up Minecraft. And you're going to log in. Mine's going to be laggy because it's, um, it's, uh, I don't have the low settings set because my computer doesn't have the best video card. So I'm just going to go to... I'm going to open this up and just copy my IP so I could just show you the server. Um, here we go. I'm going to copy that. Exit back out. Uh, then open Minecraft. Back up. Multiplayer. And control V. And you're going to connect. Logging in. And here's the server that I just created. As you can see, the text bar is down there. And, yeah. So that's how you create a server with Hamachi. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Remember to comment, rate, subscribe. I hope you liked the video. And I hope it helped. Alright, peace.